Hello, my beautiful fragrance family. Dustin here, fragrance fan. Go ahead and do me a solid and click that like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell notification. And I'm just going to keep on giving you guys these budget friendly fragrance reviews that 40 ish and under dollar range. And most of these are going to be a lot less than that. And a good number of those you can pick up at your local rack stores. And, uh, yeah, my voice is all coarse, it's all messed up because I got some junk going on up in there. I don't know, but hopefully it goes away soon. Uh, the fragrance that I'm talking about today, I have found literally zero information on anywhere. Even if I want to purchase this thing, I can't find it online. I can't find the notes online. I type in the exact title of this thing, I can't find it anywhere. So, I found it in the rack store though, and uh, it's not even a, a stranger type house to the rack stores. It's just this flanker, for whatever reason, just doesn't appear anywhere. And I'm talking about Jean-Marc Paris's Sexy Secret Double Blue. There's Blue North, there's Sexy Secret Noir, Noir Intense. There's, there's several of these that pop up in the rack stores, but why isn't there any information on this one? So uh, the atomizer lid is black. Uh, the atomizer itself is gold. The atomizer is really good. And I'm gonna let you know the notes that I pick up in this thing and uh, occasions to wear it, if it's good or not, or, or what the skinny on this fragrance that is. I think I'm the only person that's ever said anything about this fragrance online. So in the top, there's bergamot, there's lemon. Uh, in the mid, there's some kind of fresh spiciness going on. I'm not sure what the spicy note is. Uh, perhaps there's some patchouli in there, but there's definitely some green notes, some like grass and aquatic notes in the base. There's like driftwood, sandalwood, maybe, maybe a hint of cedar or, or fir. There, there, there's like a hint of some kind of a piney nuance in there. And uh, overall, what this fragrance is, is it is a fresh green aquatic. It's got the, it's got the citruses up there, uh, but it's, it's more of a, a green, fresh, spicy aquatic. If this thing was to be compared to something, it would fit great as a flanker of one of the Hollister Waves, like Hollister Wave 2, Hollister Wave X. This thing would fit good on that shelf. But it's on the sexy secret shelf, and uh, nobody wants to say anything about it, so I'm the dude to do it. Uh, overall performance on this thing is like five hours, so it's right at average. It's nothing spectacular, but it's not like going to disappoint too much, especially for being so fresh. Uh, the other one, Sexy Secret Noir, the one that I have, uh, it lasts much longer. Intense, I'm assuming, lasts as long as that or more. I don't know. I want to get my hands on that and give it a full wear. But I'll give this thing overall a five and a half. Uh, it's just enjoyable. It's easy to wear. It's not going to offend anybody. It's great for the gym. It's great for a casual, uh, just daytime, summer, spring, pool party, beach type of wear. It's not good for like the night or the cold weather or for dates or anything like that. But it's just an easy going, fresh, creamy, green, aquatic. Uh, so I've wore this thing many times. I wore it at work today. It was not offensive whatsoever uh, in about 130 degrees <laughs> where I was. And this thing was not bad smelling at all. So that's uh, what I have to say about this particular fragrance that nobody else wants to speak up on for whatever reason. So that's my final thoughts on John Mark Paris's Sexy Secret Double Blue. With that, I'm out. Y'all be blessed. Take care of yourself always, and until next time.